Hi, Steve here from Vegas Westside Shooters, and today I'm doing a short video uh, comparing uh, some revolver rounds, uh, namely the 38 Special, uh, 38 Special Plus P, and 357 Magnum, and I'll be comparing them also to the 44 Special and a couple of loads of 44 Magnum. Uh, uh, I'm also going to compare them, if possible, to the uh, rated energies and uh, velocities on the box. Uh, some of these uh, have a nice chart and, and uh, some of them have the velocities and the muzzle energy printed on the box and I'm interested to see how true that is. And for example, take a look at the Sig Sauer uh, 38 Special FMJ 125 grain round. Uh, I don't know if this is going to show up on the camera but it basically says uh, the muzzle velocity is 900 feet per second and 225 uh, foot-pounds of energy. So that's that's put right on the box on SIG. Uh, some of the others, uh, Magtech, which is some of the 357 rounds, they have a uh, unbelievably small indecipherable uh, chart on the back, uh, which uh, I, I'm, I'm going to take a very close look at with uh, some, some sort of magnifying device to see if I can figure out which they're rating this round as uh, to see if that lives up. So we're going to be looking at the SIG uh, 38 special, 125 green, full metal jacket. We're going to be shooting the Remington 38 special plus P hollow point. Uh, so that's a 38 special plus P. It ought to have uh, better muzzle velocity and more energy at the muzzle, but we shall see. This is the Magtech 357, also 125 green, full metal jacket. Uh, and we'll see if this hotter load does better. Uh, I'm also going to be shooting the Arms Corps 357. This is a heavier bullet. This is a 158 grain uh, full metal jacket and it's also sort of interestingly more of a rounded nose uh, compared to the uh, Magtech 357 which is more of a flatter nose. I'm not sure how that's going to affect the muzzle velocity. Probably not very much. We have the uh, HSM uh, Cowboy Action 44 Special, uh, which is a round nose flat point uh, lead bullet, and this is uh, 200 grains. That's a pretty good size bullet there. That's a 200 grainer. We'll be shooting that out of the 44 Magnum uh, <coughs> Smith & Wesson 629 model. Uh, and then we have the 44 Magnum 240 grain uh, flat nose. That is also from HSM. It's Cowboy Action. And in addition, we have the Winchester uh, 44 Remington Magnum jacket at soft point, 240 grain. This is the deer and black bear load. Uh, so uh, we'll see that's obviously at least partially uh, jacketed in copper. Anyway, we're going to take these out to the range in the morning uh, and give them a go in those revolvers. And we're going to measure uh, the muzzle velocity and then we'll calculate the muzzle energy. And for the ones that have the uh, printed data, I will compare uh, whether we got the stated velocity and energy, and then I'll be interested to compare them to each other and <clears throat> see what kind of energies we're getting out of these bullets. Uh, so hopefully uh, you'll stick with us. We'll tune into the range tomorrow morning, and uh, we'll see what we see. Okay, so here's our setup uh, for the uh, measuring the uh, foot per second and uh, muzzle energy out of the 38 uh, slash 357 <clears throat> and the 44 special slash magnum. I've got our uh, uh, Caldwell ballistic precision chronometer set up uh, and we have uh, our loads ready to fire out of the two pistols. Uh, one caveat I will tell you <clears throat> there will be a little bit of a difference in muzzle energy uh, just because the uh, Ruger 357 is a four inch barrel and the uh, <clears throat> the uh, 44 Magnum Smith & Wesson is a six inch barrel so that's going to probably give about a hundred foot per second boost to the Smith & Wesson right off the bat uh, but uh, we'll see what other kind of difference in energy there is uh, between these uh, varied rounds. Uh, okay, so let me get everything started up and uh, we're going to do some, some shooting and some recording. Uh, and, uh, and then okay, we'll see. We'll start off with the uh, SIG 125 grain 38 special.
Next up is the Remington Hollow Plus, plus P. Tell you right off the bat, there's about a 200 foot uh, per second difference between those rounds. Very nice. Okay, now we're going to shoot the uh, Magtech. Uh, this is 125 grain, 357 magnum. That is shaking the table, and I'm not touching the table in any way. Okay. <laughs> Last for the 357 is going to be the arms core. These are 158 graders. There's a big bullet here. Let's see what we get as far as the foot per second goes. Had a significantly less velocity. 1300 and change for the 125 grainer. Around 1100 for the uh, bigger bullet. All right, let's move on to the 44 special rounds. So these are 200 grain, uh, 44 special rounds. SM Cowboy Action 240 Green, 44 Magnum. That's flinging a 240 grainer at almost 1,200 feet per second. You're talking about a lot of energy coming out of this muzzle. And you can definitely feel it in the recoil. All right, lastly, we're going to shoot the Winchester 44 mag, 240 grain bullet. Okay. 
Okay, last group. Exceeding 1,300 feet per second, 240 grain round. That is a boatload of energy coming out of this gun. So uh, I'm going to do some calculations and some math uh, that you're not going to want to be on camera for, and uh, okay, we'll meet so back in the garage. We're back from the range, and I've done some uh, calculations and uh, some math uh, on these different rounds. Uh, before I before I get to the results, I just wanted to show uh, I'm using this uh, program. It's called uh, the Shooter's Calculator. It's on. Uh, I just Googled it and found it. And what I wanted to show is all you need to do is you put the mass of the bullet. So right here it's 240 grains. You put it in grains. You put the velocity. Let's say 1330 because that was one of our velocities, and it automatically calculates the energy in foot-pounds or joules for our European friends out there uh, on the metric system. So um, we'll get back to this in a second, but I just wanted to show everybody how I calculated the uh, the energy from each of the rounds out of those uh, weapons. Okay, so uh, put that aside. And uh, <clears throat> now we're going to get to the, the results. Uh, which were pretty enlightening as far as I'm concerned. So uh, what I wanted to show here with this chart, I don't want to bore everybody to tears, but basically what I did was I took the velocities from the uh, program that we shot from the <coughs> Caldwell uh, chronograph that showed uh, the feet per second, and I fired three bullets from each type of ammo, <coughs> and then I recorded the uh, velocities of each three, then I calculated an average, so I added th the three together and divided by three, and I came up with the average velocity for each round. And then I used that uh, shooter's calculator, and I put in the average velocity with the weight of the bullet, and came out with the energy in foot-pounds. And and basically, what is what are the the couple of things that I took home from this that I thought were pretty uh, <clears throat> surprising to me was the regular old uh, Full Metal Jacket. Uh, 38 special from SIG put out a paltry 192 foot-pounds of energy. Uh, that's uh, that's not a fantastic amount of energy out of a handgun uh, or anything else. Um, what was interesting to me was when you added the plus P, same weight bullet, <coughs> hollow point configuration, you're getting now 265 foot-pounds of energy, which is a pretty respectable amount of energy out of a handgun. Uh, and at a hollow point, I think I would be pretty comfortable myself in a defensive situation if I had my uh, 38 uh, special plus P rounds with hollow points. Um, I think that that would be that would be a uh, very very reasonable situation. But you can also see when you go up to the 357 Magnum, uh, which is the same weight bullet, 125 grain bullet, the energy has now jumped from uh, 192 in the special. 265 in the plus P, all the way up to 499 foot-pounds of energy with the 125 grain round. And that is a very respectable amount of energy coming out of a handgun. Uh, and you can also see right under that the Arms Corps <coughs> bullet, which was a significantly heavier bullet at 158 grains, uh, only did 415 foot-pounds of energy. So significantly less energy from the heavier bullet than the lighter bullet. And uh, that makes a lot of sense because when you calculate energy, it's one half uh, the times the mass times velocity squared. So you square the velocity and you just multiply by the mass. So the mass uh, makes less of a contribution than the velocity. So a lower mass bullet at higher velocity uh, will have a uh, significantly amount more of energy than a uh, higher mass bullet at a lower velocity. And that proved it right there. Uh, okay, and then moving on to the 44 uh, special 44 Magnum, you can see the 44 special rounds that's down here, which is a 200 grainer uh, coming out of the six inch barrel. That gave us 326 foot pounds of energy, so more energy uh, than anything on the uh, 
38 other than the the 357 Magnum and it's uh, not too far off from the from the Arms Corps 357 Magnum. So the 44 Special has a pretty good amount of energy. But then <coughs> when you move up to the 44 Magnum, the HSM 240 grainers put out 759 foot-pounds of energy. The winner today is the Winchester 44 Mag uh, Soft Point Bear Load with 240 grounds that put out a whopping 943 foot-pounds of energy. So roughly uh, four and a half times what a 38 Special puts out uh, and about about double what uh, either of the 357 Magnums can put out. So the 44 Magnum, especially in the Winchester load, which is a pretty hot load, uh, puts out a tremendous amount of energy. And as you can see from the rain session, it actually knocked off one of the sunshades uh, off of the chronograph just by going through it. Uh, it didn't touch it, it didn't damage the chron chronograph in any way, but just that massive bullet flying through there at uh, 1330 uh, feet per second had enough of a of a of a turbulence that it created that it that it actually knocked the sunshade off that thing. Uh, and uh, when I was firing it, even though I wasn't touching the table in any way, there was enough uh, enough energy coming off of that weapon to knock. I had the the brass spent shells standing up, and it knocked them all over like dominoes. So uh, that's a that's a lot of power coming out of that weapon. So hopefully this uh, this was interesting uh, to somebody. And if you, uh, if you want to put some constructive comments on the video, I'm always interested to read those. Uh, I, hope this, uh, I hope this was helpful and anybody, somebody who watched it enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, as always, thanks for watching. It's Steve from Vegas Westside Shooters.